a video of uh, a few ideas I just want to have a bit of a play around with. So, roast chicken for dinner tonight. Um, and I've got some, I want to do, I've, I've done, well I did it, I did a, a, a butter made with uh, chicken stock cubes as like a flavouring. It's very nice, I did it in the chicken, I put it underneath the breast, of, uh, in between the skin and the breast of the chicken, it was very nice. Um, so I kind of want to do that again, but I'm not going to use chicken stock cubes this time, I'm going to use the oil, uh, the olive oil from the uh, anchovy fillets. I've got something I want to do with the anchovy fillets, I don't want the oil for that project, so but I don't want to waste the oil. Um, so let's use the oil in the butter that we're going to put underneath the skin. And um, I've got some squeezed out lemons as well. So I was like, oh, let's put those in the cavity and see if that um, kind of makes a difference. Uh, and then I kind of thought, oh, well, and let's put a little bit of zest into the, the butter, anchovy uh, butter that we're going to kind of make as, as well. Now I've squeezed out the juice out of those. Uh, it was for, that's for something else. Um, so but you don't kind of waste, we can put it on the compost. You don't want too much acidity, putting too many things that are acidic on your compost. But once we've squeezed the juice out of those, they can quite happily go on the compost and it won't make that, that much difference. And then also, so I, I've, I've loosened the skin under, in between the uh, skin and the, and the breasts. But what I've also done, I don't know if we can just kind of quite show this, but I've loosened the skin around the legs as well. So I've teased it so we can see the flesh there now normally when i roast a chicken uh, the legs take longer to cook than the breasts so what i normally do is i normally just slice into the legs so the heat can penetrate so it cooks quicker but then it's very difficult to kind of put any kind of rub into or any kind of butter into those um, slits in the, in the legs because you the butter just butter just melts and wants to fall out so i was kind of thinking well if we tease it away the skin away and then slice the flesh uh, and not fl and not um, slicing the skin then that might hold the butter in a little bit better so that's another idea we'll kind of want to play around with now but what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use this scalpel rather than my knife so it's a case of being really careful but this will probably work oh there we go see that see you, you see what I've done I've, I've teased away the, the the skin away from the flesh and then if we put in some some deep cuts there, like that, and the same on the took that took on the inside as well. So the the heat will penetrate those legs a lot quicker and cook a lot quicker, which is what we want. Um, because otherwise, the the breast tends to be overcooked by the time we get to the uh, the legs being cooked. Um, the only alternative is to take the legs off first and cook the legs longer I don't really want to do that either I want like a whole chicken but this is just I just kind of thought it'd be a nice idea and then because also we're slicing into the legs we'll get some flavor going in there as well so that out of the way a, a mess of chicken we can put those in there now so they will cook and juice will want to going out into the chicken that's not wasting those is it and then right ah chickeny hands let's just wash my hands quickly should have got that oil out of the away from the anchovies before that shouldn't i always prepared well see i teased the the, the skin away from that in uh, pre, pre did that and then forgot to open the anchovies but so all from the anchovies. I was having a think. I was thinking about having a go about making some, like, pat and perium this week. And we said we need some anchovies for that. So that's what the anchovies are going to get used for. So that'll be fine in the fridge. And then we want some butter. So this is leftover butter from last night. Uh, I worked. I, I, yeah, I'm also kind of quite aware that the food that I have left over is not what most people will have left over when i the one i talk about leftovers you know i've generally got leftovers from functions and bits of butter and lots of lemons and all that kind of stuff and like people haven't got that kind of that, those kind of resources but you can take the idea that that i'm fucking around with and just buy a lemon 
I'll just add some anchovies into this to make like a maybe when you put this in the microwave just to melt it slightly but I'll tell you what I'll do I'll pause so you don't see me make a mess of this but I need to mix this all together so it becomes like a smoother paste I'll pause right so I have wash my hands again um, mixed all that in so it's kind of gone to a smoother paste I've added some salt and some pepper as well so it's a lot more move aroundable I didn't need to put it in the microwave I just took my time and mixed it with the fork so we'll give it a taste and see what we think I haven't overdone it on the salt because there's obviously going to be the, oil, the olive oil from the anchovies is going to be salty so hmm that tastes good that tastes good so it's going to go into four parts on the chicken so imagine one breast two breasts three three leg four leg so we want that amount of butter split between four so the best kind of thing to think about that is just kind of go like that so make a cross in the center and then you know that roughly that amount of butter is going to go underneath that breast being careful not to split the skin but i think this would be lovely like um like on a rotisserie you know if you marinate it for a couple of days got the butter next to the skin and then put it on a rotisserie i think it'd be lovely so this is the next one that's much yeah just they have to be careful that we don't split the skin like that so that like that i don't think we need to season on the outside let's get rid of the fork that'd be a pain to clean but not to worry and then some on the inside and some on the outside like that but i think this would work with any kind of butter so even just butter and lemon would be nice but i had that anchovy olive oil which i think will do a good job and then I see a slightly split the skin there. I'm not to worry. And then this last bit of butter here. Now, he kind of said that this chicken was going to take two hours to cook. I think that's too long. I think that's too long. I think in an hour and a half, probably less. But I'm going to swim in. So it's just going to be in the oven. It's going to be in the oven for an hour and a half while I go swimming build up an appetite and then i shall eat a whole chicken that sounds like a game of thrones reference it probably is so so butter's now oh, you see there you go you can see the butter that no not particularly very well but the butter is on the outside of the chicken legs so that'd be nice like that and then those are in there Me wrestling a chicken. I'm sure that's not a real sport. Sure, highly. Oh, it's a Family Guy reference, though, isn't it? Certainly won't be wrestling a real chicken. So that bit I put around the outside. That'd be fine. So into the oven, one seventy until I come home from swimming, and then we'll have a look at it. Ah, I've made the right mess of the hands, haven't I? So uh, I'll have to edit the last bit of the video because uh, I don't want to be touching the camera with my chicken buttery hands. So, not for it. I'm only at home and I'm only the only person I'm gonna poison is myself. And that'll be my own fault, won't it? So there we go. Hour and a half and it looks like it's ready. It looks like it's ready. Look at that. That looks lovely and brown. Look at all that juicy, juicy, juicy there. That'll be all that delicious butter. So, oven off. Yeah, that feels cooked. That feels cooked. We will, yeah, that feels, definitely feels cooked and tender. We'll just put a bit of foil over the top of it. I have got the I've normally got little bits of foil kicking about the house. Like off cuts and all that I've used for the purposes. But we'll just put a little bit of foil over the top of it and we'll just rest it for 15 minutes 
and then we'll cut into it and see what it tastes like. Have a look at this chicken. There's lots of juice in the bottom, and I think that'll be lots of the fat from the chicken and the butter. I'm going to eat it out of the tray because I don't really want to do any washing up tonight. So let's just cut down there and drain that juice out of there. And then we'll pour this juice into the container that we mixed the butter in. And then that will just save me a little bit of washing up as well. And it will collect that juice and fat. I'll be able to use that juice and fat for something else. Right. Get that out of the way because I'm likely to knock it over. And then cloth that hand in case I need to if it's a little bit warm. So. I didn't take the wishbone out. I think that probably would have. I, I was worried that it might damage the skin. So let's just tease that away. That oh, looks beautiful with that. It's nice and tender, nice and juicy. Just cooked. Just. That looks good there. that so that looks good and then it's kind of if anything's not cooked it's going to be the legs but these legs look like they're going to fall off the bone like that and we just do that that looks nice and tender doesn't it so that's the bit that i'm really interested in eating so pull a little bit of skin away, and then we'll slice it. Mmm, that's lovely, isn't it? Mmm, that's delicious. You can't taste the anchovy, but you can taste the lemon, and obviously the butter and salt and pepper. But you can't taste the anchovy, which is generally what happens. <coughs> What happens with anchovy you you put it in things and you don't actually taste the anchovy but you get the umami saltiness from the anchovies kind of coming through that's delicious so from something that was what we had kicking around the house some lemons that were that weren't going to be uh, that were going to go in the compost and some anchovy oil and a little bit of butter that's turned the chicken into something just a little bit more special Oh, it's delicious. I certainly think... I shouldn't have put that in my mouth. Okay, I'm talking to her. No, that's rude. But, I think teasing the skin away from the legs, and then slicing the legs that way, I think that's good. Um, and the heat still gets into the legs without you kind of losing any kind of flavour that you put into legs like that butter would have just soaked out and when we kind of took the chicken out of the oven there was pools of butter that the skin had, had, had kept in place so that so any any kind of chicken that was next to a pool of butter in, it soaked up all that flavor which has made it delicious so I, I certainly think that not slicing the skin uh, the legs on the outside I think teasing the skin away and pushing the, the flavor into any kind of flavor that we put in it's certainly the right thing to do. But anyway, that's delicious. I'm going to um, sit in front of the TV and uh, enjoy picking my way through that like an animal.